Hey guys, welcome back. This is Jesse Clark with Big Business Look on a Small Business Budget. And today I want to talk to you about images. A lot of my clients come to me and they're wanting to know the best way to take an image from their phone that they've taken and they want to put it up on their website um, or their blog. Because the problem they're having is when they take this image straight from their phone and put it up on their website, they're telling me that it takes a long time for that web page to load and that's simply because the file size is way too big and the page is just taking a long time to load that image. So without getting in too much detail, best website practices is to try and keep your image under 100 kilobytes, which is like 1.1 megabytes. But without having the proper software like Photoshop to do that and really compress these images, there is another way you can just quickly do that and it will compress the image quite a bit. It may be enough to put up on your website. So when we get back, I'm going to talk about those three free websites that you don't even need an account or a login to access. And it will help you with, um, with doing this process and feeling more comfortable uploading their, your images to your website. Okay, we're back. So I'm going to just get here onto my screen and show you these three websites and kind of how they work and the best way to use them. So let's just say that I've taken the photo, the photos that I have from my phone and I'm putting them onto my computer and now I want to upload them to my to my website or my blog. But first, what you need to remember is that you want to keep that image as low as possible. And again, without Photoshop or another photo editing software, um, it's really difficult to get that where you want it, but this will really help. Now the first resource that I want you to, to see is to kind of work those numbers on what is a megabyte, what is a kilobyte, what are those things. So if you just search right up here, kilobytes to megabytes or KB to MB, you'll see this little calculator formula translator thing right here. So if you think about it, let's say I have a five megabyte image. That's going to be 5,000 kilobytes. So if you want to keep it under a hundred kilobytes, that's really like a 0.1 megabyte. So that's just kind of a way to show you what, um, what kind of image size you're dealing with. So the first thing you want to do is if, if you're actually have an image that some of the phones nowadays are very high quality. So if you take an image, it's very easily that this image is going to be 3000 um, by like 2000 or 3000 pixels. And that image could be up to three megabytes, which is going to be really too big to put on your website. It could really slow the website down. So if you go to canva.com photo editor, and again, I'll put this, this link down into the description of this video. You do, not, you do not need a login or anything else. All you need to do is go here to upload. And I've already grabbed in, let's just grab the original image that I have. And I put that image right here on my desktop. So I've uploaded the image. So from this website, you're going to see you have filters. You can adjust the brightness, contrast. You can crop it to a specific size, like so. Or you can go to resize. This is the original size you see here. It's 3000 by 2250 pixels. So what you, if this is going on to your blog, you really do not need it that large. So all I'm going to recommend is maybe just doing 500 and then it'll adjust the aspect ratio for you. So you can see this is what it will end up looking like. And then you're going to apply it. And then all I'm going to do is when I'm done, I've got the image to look exactly how I want to. I'm just going to download. You can try to log in or create an account and do can and use this website, which is also is free. And I have that in another video that I'll also put that link to that video in there and what you can do with this program. But all you have to do is just download your photo by itself. 
So once I have, I'm going to right click, I'm going to show in the finder. So here is this image that I've just got down to 500 pixels. I'm going to see what the size is now. So you can now see it is 296 kilobytes, which is closer to that 100 kilobytes that I was talking about. And again, the original, you can see here, was 2.38 megabytes. So already it has compressed it quite a bit. But we're going to go one step further, and we're going to go to this website here called tinypng.com. You can uh, convert your images to either PNG or JPEG files. Now, PNG files are going to be more or less for icons and uh, simple images that are not going to be used or taken from your phone. That is a whole different um, lesson, so we're not going to get into the PNG. I want you to stick with the JPEG. The JPEG images are going to keep the quality, they're going to be compressed more, and they're more for photos. So what you're going to do is click here, you're going to go to the downloads. This is the download from the Canva free photo editor, so I'm going to upload this because I want to uh, convert it even more. And so you can see it was 300 KB. And now what it did is it actually brought it all the way down to 78.9 KB. So now I'm going to just download this. I'm going to show this one in the finder. So you can go in here and right click, go to the properties. And you can see now this image is only, well, uh, 77 KBs. This is the final one. This was the final one that I'm going to use for my website. This is the image that we used to crop it from the Canva. And this is actually my original photo. So you can see that it brought it down from 2.38 megabytes to the 77 kilobytes. So that's a huge compression. And this was just done. This was all done for free. So now you can label these accordingly to um, so you can keep track of them to use in the future so this could just put blog and you can use rename this one as original so when you go edit or upload to your website you'll know which one you're using so again you have the canva.com the link is in the description you have the tinypng.com and then just Google this, and this will, is just a good resource to kind of help you figure out what kilobytes and megabytes and stuff mean. So, again, I hope that helped. That would, Again, you can let me know if you have any questions, but that is a really simple way to, and a free way, to actually take the images from your phone and compress them enough to put up onto your website or blog. Thanks a lot. See you next time.